Good morning, cadets. A number of you have heard me welcome you back at various events and gatherings throughout the summer, but I'd like to take this time to welcome each of you back to the school. As I walked the halls this morning, it was remarkable to see you all hard at work minutes into the first bell. Whether you were reviewing safety procedures for science labs, taking a test on your summer reading, getting to know your new classmates a little better, or diving right into that first lesson, I observed a school full of cadets hard at work, just as it should be. Many of you know that I used to roam these very halls as a student, a seemingly lifetime ago. I promise that I will not bore you with back in my day alumni stories, at least until after you graduate. This school, this community means so very much to me. And I credit my time here as being the single most formative four years I have ever spent in my life. From the teachers who challenged me to push myself, the classmates who became my brothers and lifelong friends, and the opportunity to find and nurture my sense of leadership and service, the time I spent here provided the foundation for who I am today. I consider it a true honor to have been asked to lead this community, and it is a responsibility I will dedicate myself to with all my knowledge, skill, will, and ability. What drew me back here more than anything was the strength of this community and my desire to ensure your experience can be the best one possible. I discovered long ago that God called me to a career in education, and I believe he has called me to serve this community, hopefully for the remainder of my career. With his help, the help of this staff, your families, our alumni, and each of you, we will continue our never-ending quest to improve and excel. With all that has happened this summer, the murder of Officer Scott Patrick, Stewart's emergency and recovery, and the death of Cheryl Hansen's husband, this community demonstrated its compassion, its strength, and its uniqueness. Never forget that this community makes a difference and that you represent it every day of your life. In the coming days, I want to share with you some of the impact your efforts to show up and I want to share with you the uh, responses that we've had from members of the community about how your presence, your effort, made a huge difference in their lives. As we start this school year, I want to share my greatest wish and hope for you. It is that you seize the moment and embrace the opportunity you have to be part of St. Thomas Academy. Face the challenges you encounter as an opportunity to grow. I firmly believe that many of the limits we face in life are ones that we impose upon ourselves. We will expect a lot of you in the coming year, but believe that you can rise to the challenge with effort and hard work. Author J.K. Rowling reminds us that it's impossible to live without failing at something unless you live so cautiously that you miss what life has to offer, in which case you fail by default. Jesus taught us to whom much is given, much is expected. We have been given a tremendous legacy, and we have a responsibility to build on it. I wish you all the best in the coming year. Have a great year, and make it memorable. Thanks.